here. I am live. Good morning. So today you are going to want, let me make sure I'm on here and I'm good. So today you're going to want your medium light dumbbells, a booty band. Oh, today is going to be so much fun, you guys. Let me get on here, see where I'm at. All right. Okay, yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to be. All right, good morning. Okay, so let me uh, talk through today and we're going to get started. All right, you're going to have... Oh, let me turn off my volume here. <laughs> that would help a little bit, wouldn't it? Okay, so here we go. All right, so the first part of class... It is a rebounder cardio hit and upper body sculpt. The second part of class is rebounder hit, lower body core sculpt. I do want you to have a towel. We're gonna use it when we go into core. You're gonna want your booty band, and I have a set of five eights and tens. Again, you get to pick and choose. I love this format. It is 15 seconds of active recovery, and it is 60 seconds of work. 15 seconds of active recovery, 60 seconds of work. So you're gonna pick and choose how fast, how slow. In that 60 seconds, you can hold on to your stabilizer bar. You don't have to take your feet off of the mat. It's really up to you and how you wanna push. It's a rebounder hit in upper body sculpt, the first part of class, and then a rebounder hit lower body core sculpt, the second part of class. So make sure you have your equipment by your side, shoes or no shoes. I absolutely always leave that up to you. If you need that extra added ankle, hip, knee, back support, absolutely 100% wear your shoes. Today I'm using a Jump Sport 550. You can look in the description box below if you want to learn more about it. Okay, I am so flipping ready to get started. Are you? You guys, I have been producing so many videos. It's crazy how much I'm getting out there and I'm doing. Okay, so let me say good morning to you real quick. We're gonna start. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Laura, Roland, and Simply Kate, Lisa. Good morning. I know in my rebounder uh, classes, I don't get as many people. I'm already very well aware of that. But hey, that doesn't matter, does it? Okay, let me turn on my watch first. I'm getting all this stuff ready. We are going to hit it. We're going to hit it. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I'm turning on my watch because I'm going to tell you how many calories I burned. We're going to start getting on our rebounder, and you're going to start with that health bounce, okay? Can you go ahead and start? Get on your rebounder. And I'm going to turn my music on to the very beginning. All right. Now, I got to turn on all these timers, you guys. I got a gazillion and one timers for you. All right, here we go. First exercise is that health bounce right here. Oh, I got to scoot back so my recorded camera can see me. All right, right here. We're in that beautiful health bounce. Feet are hip width apart. Come with me right now. So feet hip width apart. Don't roll onto the outside of your foot. Don't roll on to the inside of your foot. Nice and neutral. You guys keep going. I gotta just lift up my camera, my recording camera, because if not, it's not gonna get me high enough. There we go. Are you in that health bounce? Yeah? All right. So don't roll out that supination. Don't roll in on your feet. That's pronation. You don't want that. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Just waking our body up. Waking it up, saying hello. Getting ready to rebound. Soft bend in your knees. All right, next exercise. Preview right here. Coming in that squat. Remember, it's 15 seconds active recovery, 60 seconds of work. Can you come with me right now? Let's hit that beautiful squat. And as I'm talking to you, I have a bird feeder and I'm seeing my beautiful finches, bright yellow, eating from my bird feeder. Okay, just had to tell you that. Because you know me, I'm the crazy 
animal rescuer and bird feeder and hummingbird feeder lady yes it's a true little passion of mine i have <laughs> oh i love it listen embrace all of you embrace your uniqueness in everything you have to bring to this world that's what makes us all special right yeah Woo. so sit back in your heels just starting to warm up right here all right i want you to bounce in the center i'll demonstrate i want you to just do that health bounce up press down arms are going to come out and in focusing on that press down come with me right here let's go so again nice and even with that bounce between that right and that left leg right don't roll to the outside of your foot don't roll to the inside of your foot if anything feel that pressure in your heels pressing down so you're going to get that work with that press down yeah i got to make sure right here Whoo! how is everybody doing today yeah i hope you said good do you know you are so blessed you can work out and move your body yeah simple reminders of like that are what we need in this world you are blessed be filled with gratitude active recovery next exercise you're still pressing down elbow rolls back soft bend in your knee shoulders melted away from your ears and let's go right here elbow rolls back let's go Woo! feeling good feeling energized pressing down into that mat come on 60 seconds of work 15 seconds active recovery you get to go as fast or as slow as you want to go so do you feel like you're warmed up yeah i do so are you about ready to take it just a little bit higher intensity yeah did i hear a big yes yeah i think i heard that from everyone Woo! come on nice beat today feel that music feel that power all right bounce in the center show you the next exercise jump rope from the side drive those knees up like when you were a kid and you did jump roping y'all remember that come with me jump rope Woo. can you all tell my hair is getting extremely long look at it Woo. i usually have it pulled up let's go beautiful jump rope for those of you that don't know me very well uh, from the beginning of this year 2021 i have not cut my hair my husband made a challenge with me he said i bet you cannot not cut your hair for one year i said what are you going to give me for it he said i'll give you a thousand dollars if you don't cut your hair for a year and i said ah, i don't need the money but i said okay i'll take the bet i haven't cut my hair so it's getting long jump rope all right bounce in the center let me show you the next that next exercise twist right here look at that beautiful twist shoulders set away from your ears let's go 60 seconds right here Woo! yeah pressing down into the mat take that right hip and that left hip forward keep going this is gonna bother me if i don't kind of i don't want that whoo my hair 
bouncing up and down. Right here. Beautiful twist. Sixty seconds, guys. Be very mindful of how you land. Hip, knees, and toes follow each other. Chest tall and proud. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Bounce in the center. Show you next exercise. You're gonna press down. Feet are wide. Pressing down into the mat. Pressing those arms down. Just like this. You ready? Come with me. Come on. Press down. It's a wide press down into the mat. Why don't you let that right and left heel really press down into the mat. Splash the water. Down, down, so you're splashing your arms. Down, down. Woo! Let's go. You get to go as quick or as slow as you wanna go. 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds of active recovery. What does that look like for you, right? It looks different for each and every one of us. We're on different rebounders. Our bounce looks different, yeah? So you get that best 60 seconds you can in for you. Bounce center. Next one, you're bouncing center. This is your recovery. It's a beautiful jack right here, just like this. Pressing down into the mat and jacking. Let's go, people. Push it. Come on. Wow, we're working such a fun day. Woo, did you know the rebounder is low impact? Yeah? Woo, packs a punch full of high intensity, but low impact for those joints. Great for the lymphatic system, the cellular system, and our digestive system. I recommend rebounding five to 10 minutes health bounce every single day, just for improved lymphatic and digestive health. Come on. Woo. Active recovery. Watch me. Jump rope runners. Next exercise. Jump rope runners. Right here. Arms are in a jump rope position and we're running it. Jump rope runners. Come with me right now. Jump rope runners. Come on, push it, push it. You can do it. Jump rope runners. Right here. Woo! Come on. Press those heels down into the mat from the side. Right here. Push it, push it, push it. Come on. You know the drill. 60 seconds of work, your timing. <sighs> push, push, push. Whew. We are doing so good. Push. Press down in the mat. Don't roll on the outside of your foot or the inside. Be very mindful of this. All right, bounce center, active recovery. Next exercise, I'm previewing. You have 50 se 15 seconds of active recovery. I'm previewing. Are you ready? Let's go. 60 seconds. Now you all know, you don't have to jump on that rebounder. You can have your hand on that stability bar for all the exercises. Modify. Make the workout fit your body your life in your fitness level. It's beautiful to start right where you're at. You need to feel your power, feel your strength. You are confident, you are strong. 
You are beautiful inside and out. Love your most authentic self. Let your spirit shine for the world to see, for you have so much to show us. I want you to bounce center, active recovery. I'm showing you the next exercise. I preview while you recover. Right here. Are you ready? Officially, let's go. Let's go. Good job, you guys. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Did I tell you, look, yeah? So many ways to modify to make this workout fit your lifestyle and fit your body. Woo! We're really pushing it here. But at all times, we're listening to our body and what it's telling us, right? Yes, Angie, we are. Because I want you coming back day after day. I want you to feel the power you have within yourself. You are strong. You are very powerful. All right, you guys get to bounce. I show you next exercise. Three squats, hop. Three pulses, tuck jump. Three pulses, tuck jump. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come with me. So press down for three to four pulses and tuck jump once. Can you clap your hands to your thighs? So press down a couple times, get comfortable and do that bounce. Let me show you the modification. Squat knee, hold on to that stability bar. You don't ever have to bounce on this mini trampoline. You can use that unstable surface just to work for you. Do you see what I mean? How you can modify everything? Focus on that press down though. You got it. Push. Press down nice and firm. Whew. Bounce in the center while I show you that next exercise. Right here. You're gonna do right heel and left heel from the side. Come with me, let's go. Now, let me show you that lower intensity version. Hold on to your stability bar. Look, hands on your hips, just like this. Beautiful way to modify or no bouncing and just coming here. Nice, slow, and controlled. You can interlace those fingers. Uh, breathe it through, breathe it through. Are you all ready to hit that upper body? Yeah? Woo! Beautiful cardio rebounder hit. Now we're getting ready to go into upper body strength and tone hit. Looking good. You get to bounce. You're gonna watch me. I have two eight pounds in my hands. It's time to go. We're gonna hammer curl press, hammer curl down. Feet hip width apart. It's time to sculpt and tone that upper body. Let's go. Woo! Oh yeah. Beautiful. So we just did that rebounder cardio hit. Now we're doing it hit style right here with that upper body. Eights, tens, fives, medium weight today. Woo! 60 seconds each exercise. If you feel these weights are just too light, they're not challenging your upper body, well, go ahead. Grab those heavier weights and go where you need to go. Let's talk about this right now. Are, make sure you're not rolling on to the outside of your foot 
or the inside of your foot. Is the weight evenly distributed between both that right and left leg? Sit back in your heels a little bit to activate the glutes. Beautiful. You guys are gonna watch me for that next exercise. I'm gonna curl in, curl in, watch me. Again, shoulders melted away from my ears, chest tall and proud, evenly distributing that weight between that right and left foot and leg. Let's go. Let's go, curl it in. Woo! -hoo. Time to get nice, sculpted, and toned. Again, the heavier you go, the slower you'll go, the lighter the weight, the more repetitions you'll get. The lighter the weight, you work muscular endurance. The heavier the weight, we're working strength. So today, my focus is muscular endurance for this class. But again, you can change it out and you can add it for a strength day. Add those heavy weights and go much slower because it's 60 seconds of work. So you know what I mean. You can do anything you want to make this your personal workout, right? Yes. Active recovery. All right, we're gonna come up. Tricep overhead, up and down again. We're gonna press it over, weights pressed together. Tricep overhead, and we're gonna come down. Let's come with me. Again, you press the weights as they go over your head. As those arms lift, you feel that natural core activation. Soft bend in your knees, your feet are hip width apart. You're not rolling to the outside of the foot or the inside of the foot. Nice and neutral. You're putting evenly distributed weight between that right and that left leg. Right? Yes. Move through that wet cement. Control your movement this entire workout. Really feel that upper body getting nice and strong. Active recovery for you guys. All right, so we're gonna watch me. So this is our next exercise. I come pinkies back. Roll it in, roll it up, pinkies in, pinkies out. Let's go, pinkies in, pinkies out. It's called a roll. Full bicep and shoulder. So, pinkies face in, pinkies face out. Pinkies roll in, pinkies roll out. Roll the pinkies in, roll them out. Roll them in, up and out. So you get, we're working that entire upper body. So you want the pinkies to rotate in. Now rotate the pinkies out. Rotate the pinkies in. Rotate the pinkies out. That's the easiest cueing right there. Just feel the pinkies rotate in, rotate out, rotate in, rotate out. Feet hip width apart. Woo, y'all burning. It's that upper body sculpt, just like I told you. All right, right here. We're gonna hit that back row. I'm previewing. You can have one or two weights. That right foot is forward, that left foot is back. And let's go. 60 seconds of work. Really focusing on your back now. Pulling muscles right here. Woo! Just trying to see how many calories I'm burning so far. I think I'm gonna do a fine and dandy job burning loads of calories in today's class. Now again, go lighter with your weight. If you're new to rebounding, you don't have to have any weight. All you gotta do is the body movement and that will help build the strength that you will get. You need to feel your power, feel your strength, feel your confidence, feel your consistency, feel your determination. 
Your body is powerful. You gotta believe it. You gotta feel it. These workouts, you're gonna really feel your power. All right, you get active recovery, 15 seconds. Demonstrating that next exercise right here. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. That elbow is pulling back, that left foot is forward, and we're going. Yeah, let's go. Push it through. Looking good. Woo! Rebounder hit, cardio, fitness cardio. And upper body hit, strength and tone. Whew. You got so much power within your body. Dig deep, let's go. Just feel the beauty your muscles bring to that powerful feeling that it just gives your body naturally. You got it. All right, you guys. Our next exercise, we're gonna do push-ups. All right, so your knees are on. Let me demonstrate, down and up. Now we're doing the pushing action. We just did the pulling action. Come with me right now. Let's go. So now we're pushing. When you pull, which is working the back, you also got to work those pushing muscles, which is the front, your chest, pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. Your timing because you know it's 60 seconds. Now a modified version are your knees are directly under your hip. Hands are on your frame. Right here is a reduced modified version. You want to make it harder? Walk your knees away from your body. And really let the shoulders and the chest pick up and do all the work. All right, I want you to pick up those weights again. I want you to stand on your rebounder, hip width apart. Next exercise, watch me. You're in recovery. We're pushing that weight out. Again, working that chest. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Let's go right now. Feet are hip width apart. Shoulders set back, down, and away from your ears. Push that weight out. Push it out. You feel that chest grab? Push it out. Let's go. Straight out. Now, I don't want you to round from the shoulders. Hey, check your feet. You should have hip, knee, ankle alignment. Sit back on your heels. Don't roll onto the outside of your foot. Don't roll onto the inside of your foot. You should not feel like your knees are trying to cave in. So if you feel like your knees are trying to cave in, you're probably rolling onto the inside of your foot. We call that pronation. You don't want that. Relax, active recovery. Next exercise, you're taking the weight up to shoulder height. Feet hip width apart, sitting back in your heels. Are you ready? Come with me right now. Just take it to chest height. Woo! Right here, beautiful. That upper body is literally on fire. Woo! Working it. Such a beautiful metabolic burning workout with that rebounder cardio fitness and that strength that we are doing for that upper body. Again, I can't tell you how much I believe in feeling the power of your body. Those muscles are working so hard for you. They're giving you that power. They're building that strength that you really want. You are blessed. You can work out with me and you can grow that power 
within your body. All right, you're gonna watch me. Next exercise, feet hip width apart, tricep kick back, front arm and back arm. Woo! All right, here we go. Let's go. Front arm, sit back in your heels on this one. Get your toes lifted off that mini trampoline surface. Right here. So you got a slight forward hip hinge. That is, we're in flexion slightly at the hip. Shoulders melted away from our ears. Right here, working the tricep array. Control it up, control it down. Let's go. Work it. You sit back nice and even between both feet. Yeah, that right and left leg nice and equally. Weight distributed. Woo! All right, take a break. Next exercise, you get to choose push-ups on the rebounder again, or hands on the rebounder. Watch me, hands are wide, come with me. Woo! So now I've changed it up, that pushing action, by having my hands wide on this unstable, mini trampoline surface. So you're gonna feel those pushing muscles having to engage and work differently. So listen to me, you must challenge your body in order to change your body. Let me repeat that. You must challenge your body in order to change your body. That's exactly what we are doing in today's workout. You are feeling the power as you challenge your body so you can change your body. Woo! Two minutes right now, active recovery. For those of us, uh, if you're leaving, cool down and stretch. We, if you're sticking with me, you're moving. Two minutes active recovery, and we're gonna hit cardio rebounder hit, lower body and core sculpt. All right, you got one minute, 40 seconds. Give it to me. You're moving, you can be bouncing. Do you, by the way, have your booty band on this one? Grab your booty band. Grab a small swig of water. Can you do that for me? We got 16 people on. Beautiful, beautiful today. I'm moving, I'm moving. You guys, you got one minute, 20 seconds. All right, Lisa, Kathy, Simply Kate, Laura, Roland, how are we doing? Woo hoo! The first part of class is done. We're working our way on the second part of class. So tell me. Okay, so you're gonna need your booty band on the second part of class. You guys have one minute. One minute, one minute. I'm gonna put my weights up because we're not gonna need it. You're gonna need your booty band and your towel. That's what you're gonna need. So I took your heart rate up. I'm taking it down. And in 45 seconds, I'm taking it right back up, women and men, and anybody who does my rebounder class. So, do you have a towel? Do you have a booty band? Yeah? Okay, let's make sure I'm centered a little bit. Yeah? You got 25 seconds. Woo! Loving today's workout. Loving it. Oh. I gotta get my next choreography. 15 seconds. 10 seconds and I'll preview that first exercise in the second part of class. Welcome, rebounder cardio fit and lower body core sculpt. Preview first exercise. Right here, those toe taps, arms in and out. Preview right here, are you ready? Let's go, 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds of active recovery where you bounce in the center of the mini trampoline. 
Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Are you ready for that rebounder? Cardio fitness, lower body sculpt with the booty band and core. Yes, Angie. Well, let's go. All right, you guys, as you know, you always listen to your body. You always go your timing, your pace. You can decrease that range of motion or you can increase the range of motion to make this rebounder cardio fitness class work for you. Yeah, yeah. So it's a toe tap, not a heel tap, a toe tap right here. Bounce in the center. Next exercise, jacks side to side. Lower intensity, you'll stay in the center. You'll stay front and center. Everyone come with me. So just moving those jacks side to side. Pressing down into the mat. Don't roll onto the outside of the foot or the inside of the foot. Hip, knees, toes, track each other. Let's go. Again, you all know it's 60 seconds of work. 15 seconds active recovery. Pressing down into the mat to really get that work in. Push, push. Bounce in the center, active recovery. Watch me. It's a single, single, double. Single, single, double bounce. Single, single, double bounce. Once again, watch me. Single, single, double bounce. Come with me. Woo. Now our bounces are gonna look different. We're on all different styles of trampolines. Spring-loaded, bungee. Our bungees are different strengths. So it's a single, single, double bounce wherever you're at. Pressing down into the mat. Two singles, one double bounce. 60 seconds of work. 15 seconds active recovery. Let's go. Single, single, double bounce. It's that press down into the mat. That's where the work is. That's where the bone density health is. And that gravitational force pressing down. Bounce center. Let me demonstrate next exercise while you bounce. Crisscross. You can take your hands forward. Crisscross. You're crisscrossing one foot in front of the other. Clapping your hands. Let's go. Beautiful crisscross. Clap your hands as you take that foot forward. Now you guys keep going. Low intensity, front tap, and keep that clap. Look how I can make this entire workout lower intensity without that high intensity bounce and that press down. It's all good. Listen to your body at all times. Again, feel your power. You are strong. You are determined. Add that little clap. Push it through. You get active recovery. Woo! Next exercise. We're gonna do runners. Press down runners wide. So you're pressing down through that right, left heel. Let's go right now. Really feel that hamstring activation, that glute activation. Look, my feet are wide. Pressing down with the focus on my heels. I'm visualizing my toes are lifting. You're gonna feel your glute, your butt, 
the back of the legs. You're gonna feel it grab, working the posterior chain of your body. Let's go, push it through. Come on, right here, press down. That's where the work lies, in that down. It's your heels pressing down, push. Ah. Come on, you got it. Use those arms, quick, quick arms. Working that speed on that rebounder. Power and speed here, big time. Press down through your heels, active recovery. Watch me, knee, kick, knee, kick, knee, kick. You're still in recovery, watching me and kick. Are you all ready? Come with me. Lower intensity. Look how I just don't have that hop. I'm still doing a knee and a kick, but I'm not adding that hop. So many ways to take this workout up or take it down. Your timing. You can pull it down with your arms. You can interlace. Your fingers, push it through. Let's go. Really challenging your core and your balance here. You guys bounce center while I show you. Next exercise, TikTok. You guys are still in active recovery. Lower intensity. Look, just keep one foot on the ground on the mini trampoline and let's go everyone. You can pull the arms up and down, interlace your fingers. Let's push it through. After this, we're moving on to lower body booty sculpt and tone. Let's go. Interlace your fingers, soft bend in your elbows. Push it through. Whew. 60 seconds work, 15 seconds, active recovery. All right, grab that booty band. I'll, you put it on, I'll demonstrate the next exercise. Woo, we're gonna take a leg. Actually, I'm coming on the ground. We're gonna lift and lower. Come with me, lift and lower. Okay, my computer's dead. I gotta plug it in so I can see me. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Hello, hello. Okay, you guys, my computer, I've got to turn it on. It's fritzing on me. I've got to get the power cord on. Don't worry, I'll just rewind us. Don't worry, I'll just rewind us. Woo! I gotta get my power cord on. You guys are just moving. Moving, moving, moving. Come on, Ange. Oh my gosh! Hold on, you guys. Ha! I don't even know if I'm on. Okay, so I'm gonna start again. Okay, I'm gonna start, hold on. Okay, I gotta get in. You guys just move, just move. Am I not always learning about all these technical freaking difficulties that I'm having? Okay, let me make sure I'm back on and I'll rewind it so you don't have to worry. 
You will not have to worry. I'll get us right back on track. But you're moving, bouncing. Just do something, please. Do something. Do something. Okay, there I am. Okay, so we're going to start again with... Okay, so I'm going to start us. I don't know where we're at. We're going to start with these knees again. I'm back on track. Okay, let me demonstrate the next exercise. Up. Oh, we're back on track. I don't skip a beat, right? Right on track. Up. Are you ready? 60 seconds of work. Come with me right here. Up, down. Up and down. I forgot to plug in my Apple computer. So the power literally died on me and I need it to make sure I'm filming. So lift the heel, 60 seconds of work, booty time right here. Whoo, I got that pink booty band on, so we're working it. Let's go, up. Man, who else is sweating up a storm? You got 60 seconds, take that break when you need it. I understand your glutes are burning. That's your butt cheeks. Back side of your leg is burning. I get it. I'm right there with you. So your goal is to lift, try to lift that heel to the ceiling and feel that glute bite. All right, next exercise, you get recovery. Let me show you. It's that back leg. That heel is lifting to the ceiling the best you can. Let's get that bite and that back glute. Let's go. 60 seconds of work. Booty sculpt. I have that pink band, which is a lot harder. So I'm taking breaks. I'm going at my intensity, my timing. Woo, if you're on this pink band, you know exactly what I mean. By that butt cheek is biting. That hamstring is biting. Focus on that heel lifting up to the ceiling. Can you do that for me? Lift. Hands are shoulder width apart and your hands are on that rebounder frame. Hips are down. Focusing on that heel lifting to the ceiling. You can do it. Oh. Let it bite. You know it's working when it gets that bite. 15 seconds recovery, watch me. Next exercise. Yeah, we're gonna bite more. We're just gonna lift. We're gonna lower that top leg. So you lift and you lower. And are you ready? Let's go. Again, that pink band is gonna really bite. We have moderate intensity for using that pink band. So you may not get that leg extremely high, but you're gonna feel it right here in the glute and right here in your hip abductors. Abductors, you're moving your leg away from the midline of your body. So you, hip, knees, toes pointing forward, just lift, beautiful lift. Woo! So there's no tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Just that beautiful lift right here. Lift it up. Focus on that lift. Oh yeah. Oh, keep it going guys. Oh, I'm feeling it right here. All right, you're gonna watch me as I preview. Make sure you're on that other side. Guess what? No brainer. We're gonna lift, watch me. Hip, knees, toes pointed forward. No tension in the upper body. Can you come with me? So your foot is nice and neutral. And you're gonna feel right here this glute and this outer thigh. Hip abductors grab you right here. Really focusing on that lower body. Ooh, 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds. Active recovery, beautiful job. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Keep it going. Up and down, up and down. 
Oh, whoo, come on. Oh yeah. So this pink band is 25 to 40 pounds of resistance. So this pink band is 25 to 40 pounds of resistance. I'm lifting up in those hip abductor region. All right, you're gonna watch me as I demonstrate that next exercise. I'm gonna do a little out pressure on my knees and I'm going to lift up. So your knees are falling to the out side. Don't let them cave in, come with me. Your heels are on the frame of your rebounder and you're focusing on the lift while your knees are trying to press out and away from the midline of your body. So you're lifting, you're gonna really feel your butt cheeks, also known as your glutes, engage. So press the knees out. Keep those knees pressed out the whole time. Beautiful bite in the glutes. Remember, this is a booty band, lower body, biting sculpt and tone. So keep those knees, focus on pressing out and away from your body. You're gonna really feel that bite in the gluteus medius. It's a beautiful burn right here. Keep it going. And watch me as you get a little break. Nice and neutral with the feet. Why don't you take that booty band just slightly on top of the knees and you're gonna focus on the press out and in, soft bend in your knees. Let's go. Keep a nice bend in your knees. Your booty band, you slid up. It's above your knees. So you're focusing on that press out, still working the hip abductors and glute region. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Nice and neutral with your feet. Press out nice and even between that right and left leg. Don't let that right leg press out more than that left leg. Let's get nice and even between that right and left leg. Woo! So focus on pressing out nice and even. Let's go. Come on, you can do it. All right, take that band off. Grab your towel. Hands are gonna be shoulder width apart. You're gonna watch me. Feet on the ground, I'm gonna roll and twist and come down over my head. I'm grabbing on and I'm come with me. So I'm coming, twisting, and then back over. Your feet are on the ground for this one. Hitting the core, guys. Just twist, working that rotational pattern for movement health right here. So you're holding onto your towel, taking it over your head, and then over your shoulder as you feel that beautiful rotation. Come with you right here. Let's go. Beautiful core work, beautiful mobility through the spine right here. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears, please. Active recovery while you watch me. Take it up to the back of the room and then over. Again, watch me up, over, right here. Come with me right now. 60 seconds of work. You can look over the back shoulder. Really feel that core take you up. Hand shoulder width apart. Beautiful rotation there. Keep it going. Sixty seconds each exercise. Woo! 
Woo, okay guys, active recovery, watch me. You're gonna circle. Take that towel, hand shoulder width apart, and we're gonna circle. Just feet are on the ground. You're gonna take the towel, and you're gonna circle it around the rebounder. Let's go. We're gonna circle in one direction for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go in the other direction. So hands are shoulder width apart, soft bend in that elbow, and you are just circling with the towel right here. Woo! Now again, you can decrease that range of motion. You can take your shoulders off the mini trampoline, reverse your circle, or you can come all the way up and circle. Depends on your range of motion. Now, again, you could just lift the shoulders off the mini trampoline, or you can try and to lift your upper body off. It's up to you. Beautiful rotation circles. Woo! You're gonna watch me on the next exercise. So I'm gonna come toe and take it over my head. Right here, soft end of my elbow, right here. So take that towel and that big toe touch, and then over the crown of your head, soft bend in the elbow, right here. You got it. Go as fast or as slow as you wanna go. We're working that lower body still, and that core, hand shoulder width apart. Soft bend in your knee and your elbows. <sighs> Woo, come on. You know we have that back leg to do. Push it here. Come on, come on. Oh, lots of work here. Woo. Take that break when you need it. I'm asking a lot of your body. I know this. Take a break while I preview that next exercise. Same thing. You're gonna go the back leg. Now you can take it to your forehead if that's gonna be easier. Knee, forehead. But as you come back, open the elbows up. So let's just take it to the forehead on this one. Are you ready? Hands are shoulder width apart. So as you come back, I want you to pull back and I want those elbows to pull back and open up just a little bit. Let's go right here. Breathe it through, whoo! Beautiful, beautiful job. Whoo, you feel that quad, the front muscle of your leg have to engage. You're just lifting. Taking that break when you need to, because I know those quads are just on fire. Open up, those elbows come back. They pull back, okay? So pull the elbows back. In, pull the elbows back. In, and back. Let's go. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! All right. Let me preview that next exercise. We've got to get that inner thigh in. So you're taking that bottom leg, you're flexing your foot, and you're focusing on that upstroke, on the lift. Flex your foot, and let's go. You're lifting, lifting. I want you to focus on that lift. Got to hit the inner thighs, your hip adductors. These muscles bring the leg in towards your body, in towards the midline of the body. Let's go, let's lift it up. I want that focus on the lift, lift. I want a strong flex of your foot. Can you do that for me? Soft bend in the knee, strong flex right here. Push it through, push it through. Oh, you're gonna feel that bite right here on the inside of your legs. You feel your power, you feel your strength. Yeah, thank your muscles for all that they do for you each and every single day. They provide movements for everyday living for you. Such a blessing. 
Woo! All right, let me preview that next exercise. You know it's that other side. Flexion in the foot, soft bend in the knee, focusing on that upstroke, focusing on the lift. You can place your hands here, let's go. So you're feeling those hip adductors right here. You gotta have a strong flex of your foot, no tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. Focus on the lift, lift. So you're focused on the upstroke, up. You got it. Whoo! Major beautiful burn today. Beautiful, I'm so proud of you, your determination, your consistency. Whoo! There is nothing we did not touch in today's class. Focus on that upstroke, you guys. Really feel it right here on the inside. Hip adductors working at their best. Let's go. Press it up, press it up. Woo! Come on, push. All right, we're gonna just finish with some mobility and stretching. So, I'm gonna preview and cross. Touch the inside of your knee and look over your shoulder. Are you ready? Let's go. So over and cross. Right here. Working on mobility. That is a component of physical fitness. Right here. Let's keep going. Looking good. Touch the inside of this knee. Look over that left shoulder. Keep going. Beautiful job. Keep going, keep going. Right here, we're still going. We're still working on that rotation. Taking that left hand over. All right, next exercise. We gotta hit that other side. Watch me right here. Right hand, look over that right shoulder. Are you ready? Let's go. This is it, leading into our cool down and stretch. Working on that rotation. Shoulder mobility, spinal rotation. Last 20 seconds. Right heel down. Time to stretch. Get to feel this beautiful stretch and through the back side of that right leg. Now that left heel. Sit it back. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. All right, let's grab that right foot. Beautiful hip flexor stretch. Challenge that balance as well. All right, grab that left leg. Got to open my door for my kitty. Challenge your balance. Take your feet wide. 
Hands on your knees, look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. One more time, look over the left shoulder. Look over that right shoulder. All right, hands on your frame and just stretch the back side of your body. Just stretch the back side of your body. Release your upper body. Shake your head yes, shake it no. Release and breathe through that back side of the body. Put a soft bend in your knees, hands on the top of your thighs, spinal mobility, roll it up, and then roll it down. Work on that spinal I mobility. Your timing, move through that wet cement. Roll it up and roll it down. Really feel the fluidity of your spine and hips as you roll it down and you roll it up. I want you to roll all the way up Elbow rolls back, shoulder mobility. Just roll open, 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 open. Soft bend in the elbows. Just take your hands over your head. Swish over and back, over and back. Working that shoulder mobility right here. So come around and down. Come around and down. Around and down. Woo! One more each side. Over, around, over. Just agitate. Take it right hip, left hip. Soft bend in the knees. Release your upper body. Your upper body is dead weight. Soft bend in the knees. Feel the hips go side to side. It's a beautiful agitation, spinal mobility release. All right, you're gonna take that right hand up and over. Eye gaze to the ceiling, left hand under. Stretching, mobility, flexibility is just as important as a warm up and the main component of the workout. Do not skimp. Take your left hand up and over, and then right hand under, eye gaze to the ceiling. Interlace your fingers, chest expansion. Shoulder set back down and away from your ears. Feet hip width apart, right ear, right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. One more time, right ear, right shoulder. And left ear, left shoulder, finish with the health bounce. Feet on the hip width apart, health bounce. We're gonna finish with the health bounce. Deep breath in, press down into the mat. And exhale, feet evenly distribute the weight, guys. Don't roll on the outside or inside, this is it. Finishing with a health bounce, just the way we started. Inhale, and exhale. Hands on your hips. Press back into your heels a little bit. Soft bend in your knees. Nice and neutral with your foot, feet. Don't roll out, don't roll in. Hip, knee, toe, ankle alignment. Deep breath in. And exhale. We are done. Beautiful class today. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I've been teaching rebounder classes for over 20 years. Be sure to join the Rebounding for Health and Fitness YouTube page and my personal page, Angie Fitness TV. Please look in the description box below. Today I was using a jump sport 
550 bungee style rebounder. If you want to know more about it, simply look in the description box below. I'll see you for our next workout together. Woo, we did it. We did it. Okay, hold on. Well, I burned 450 calories. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Okay, let me get over here and we'll talk for just a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me uh, turn off my computer now because I won't need it. Okay, I'll go up. Hello. I don't think I have very many people on here. I usually don't have very many people on for my rebounding. So, all right, Laura. Oh, Peacock Maiden, good morning. Oh, thank you, Laura. Oh, Laura, I burned 454 calories. So that is pretty darn good for a rebounder workout for me. Um, because rebounding, I burned the least amount of calories in all my workouts. So I feel like that was a really, really great burn. Women, you know I'm going to create this into two separate 30-minute classes. One in upper body, one in lower body. I'm going to give you my step count just because. Jennifer! Oh, Deanna, yes, my workout tonight, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, Carrie, yeah. She says, a $1,000 heading your way. Hair looks adorable. Hey, you know, and it's not about the money, but my husband has told me, we've been married 26 years, he goes, you cannot grow your hair out long, even if you tried. You always say that, and you always cut it. You cannot grow your hair out, even if you tried. And I said, do you want to bet... He goes, yeah. And I said, I'll bet you $1,000. He goes, okay, I'll take that bet. And he said, when are you going to start it? And I said, wait a minute. But I said, I had to give just a little bit. I said, I'm still going to color my hair because I'm getting gray. I color it three times a year. This is my natural hair color, by the way. Starting to get just at the very top a little bit of gray. So she just does my roots, not like all of my hair. She just does my roots when I see a little bit of gray. Um, she just does my roots. But you guys, this is legitimately my hair color. I haven't had my hair colored in, I don't know, four, five, six months. Look, that's my hair. I'm uh, one shade before black. Um, but anyway, I said, so we had this rule. I said, okay, but I'm still going to color my, my gray. So I'm going to get a touch up on my roots. But I won't let her cut it for one year. And he goes, okay, that's a bet. So it is, I mean, it's what, August? So I hope to have it here by December. So we'll see. Woo, rolling, rolling. Vicki D, another feel great workout, even if I don't have a rebounder. Oh, Vicki, I hope at some point, if it is your wish, beautiful Vicki, I hope you get a rebounder. That is my personal wish for you, uh, that you get a rebounder. And Vicki D, where do you live? Do you live in the United States, Vicki? If you do, I may have a rebounder if you want one. Uh, I'd... Uh, Possibly give it to you if you just want it. You have to pay the shipping. I'm not paying shipping. <laughs> um, I would make it as small as I can, but I think I might have one uh, if you might be interested. But if you are like outside the United States of America, I can't do it. Shipping would be like way, way too much. Guys, class next Monday, class next Wednesday. I'm going to hold two live rebounder classes every month. So did you hear me on that? I'm going to hold two live rebounder classes every month. So you're going to have two 60-minute workouts, rebounder workouts, and four 30-minute brand new rebounder workouts your way every single month. How about that? Okay, so tomorrow, again, or Monday and Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Central, we have class. Look out, guys, yesterday's class, I did a full mix into the 30-minute workout. So you all know, I take these 60-minute workouts that we just did, all of them, and I break them down into 30-minute workouts. Go on my page, Angie Fitness TV, scroll down, and you'll see brand new workouts that just came out. 
and you'll see all my brand new workouts that I took the live class and I condensed it into 30 minutes. Okay, Jennifer, I hope your uh, appointment goes really well today as well. Anybody before I go? Any tomorrow is big gym day for me, so I'll make sure I post all the crazy stuff I'm doing at the gym. Tomorrow is a heavy, heavy uh, weight training day for me, so I will be sure to uh, take some video of what I do when I go to the gym because I love my gym. Okay, so, oh, Vicki, I didn't read, I didn't scroll down. Um, Vicky, oh, Vicki, you're in Quebec, Canada. Oh, darn it, Vicki. Because I know the shipping into Canada would like be, it's cheaper to buy a rebounder. Anyway, I have a Jump Sport 350 I don't use. I was going to get rid of. Um, and I, I definitely want to give it to somebody. Uh, Mine is shipping. I won't pay shipping. But basically, they got to pay their shipping, and they can have it. Oh, Vicki, I wish I could give it to you, lovey. Um, Peacock Maiden, great workout. I use my Fit Stick instead of the towel. Oh, Peacock Maiden, really good. Good morning, Angie. I'm on vacation this week, so I was able to join the live. <gasps> Yay, Peacock Maiden. Listen, guys, I think Peacock Maiden is in our Fit Over 40 group. She is such a phenomenal person. She has these most beautiful dogs, Pyrenees, and she has peacocks. You know what, Peacock Maiden? Could you post your pictures of your peacocks and your dogs in our group? I don't know. You may not want to, but I find them so beautiful. And you know me. I'm an animal rescuer, so I just love, and it warms my heart to see those pictures, and I think it warms my heart even more that you have such a love for peacocks. Like seriously, like I literally mean that in my heart. Like seriously, I love that. Oh, peacock maiden, I have gray hair too, mostly in the front of my hair. My hair is naturally medium dark brown. Yes, and by the way, peacock maiden, phenomenal story. Before she became a nurse practitioner, she was a cosmetologist and she got into wigs and she did wigs and makeup and her artistic and creative ability is amazing. And Peacock Maiden, if I lived near you, I'd literally have you show me how to do makeup. And I've told you that before because I don't wear makeup because I like, I like to wear makeup. I love to. But when I do it, I look like a, like a clown. No, I know I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, and I don't need it, but I love makeup. And I'll sit, and that is one artistic, creative makeup on my face that I have not been able to master on my own. Usually I have to have my daughters put it on me, like when we're going to events, Peacock Maiden. Um, I have to... I have to go to a salon and have them do it all up for me. And I really do try, and I videotape what they're doing, and then I'll do it myself, and I look like I have black eyes and red everywhere, and, oh, I could really use your skill set to, like, help me that way. Um, oh, yes, and you're, you guys are going to love this. Peacock Maiden, uh, she says, you know I wear my custom-made wig, so it doesn't matter that my hair is gray. You guys have got to see her pictures. Peacock Maiden, you've got to like uh, post your name only if you want in the group because, you know, we're sharing our stories and you have such a beautiful, inspirational story outside of that. She had some health issues and that's for her to share if she ever wants to. And she has come such a long way. That's why I say, Peacock Maiden, like feel your power. Feel your power because you definitely have your power. And um, outside of that, she's beautiful with makeup, beautiful with hair, and just, she loves peacocks and her animals. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like a kindred spirit for me. Um, oh, so Peacock Maiden, I have an extra set of never used red clip, extra strong Bellicom bungees. And if anyone wants them at a discount. Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, put that in the rebounding group. Peacock Maiden, I don't know if you're in the rebounding group or not. Just to let you know, um, I started the Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, Spirit group and the rebounding for health and fitness group. So I have those two. All right, you guys. Uh, anyway, Peacock Maiden in our Fit Over 40 group, you know, we got 10 of us on here. 
maybe you want to post pictures of your beautiful peacocks and your dogs and the wigs you make and how beautiful you do your makeup. Because in the group, you're an expert in this arena. Also, you're a nurse practitioner as well, so you're an expert. But maybe we just have some question for you because there could be some women that need different wigs. Maybe they're going through chemotherapy. Maybe they're losing their hair. Maybe they don't know how to pick out a wig or this or that. And maybe you could answer some of those questions if they know you're a part of the group and what your skill set is, because you're a bright light in this world. Okay, everyone, Vicki D. Vicki D, we were this close to getting you that rebounder, man. You just had to live in Canada. That's okay. Canada's very beautiful. I love Canada. Okay, guys, I hope to see everyone next Monday and Wednesday for class. Look out for these uh, edited versions of class. They're coming out today. I'll see you guys next week. And then, oh, Peacock Maine, before I go, she says, I am Lisa CW in the group. Okay, so for you guys, so you know, in our groups, she is Lisa CW in the group. Yes, I can post the peacocks and dogs in the group. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So she's Lisa CW, so Peacock Maiden, Lisa CW. Same beautiful person. Okay, you guys, have a beautiful weekend ahead, and I'll see you bright, early, and ready to roar with your full strength on Monday. Bye.